to be looked at in the light that Wu-Tang is looked at in. And I'm going to give you an example. When we go overseas, the majority of the kids out there, they have like these denim jackets with these patches on it. Anthrax, Metallica, you know, different bands like that, Slipknot. And on the majority of those jackets, you see that Wu-Tang emblem on there. Just the fact that we could touch so many people for so long, over so many years, is just incredible to me, man. Microphone checker, swinging sword lecture, closing down the sector, supreme neck protector. Better want him, kid, Mr. Mepster. Warm and pop, pop the blood with lead from the pressure. It ain't every day that people can, you know, celebrate a 20th anniversary, I think, working on 25 years. 25 it's years of what? Being in the game. But this shit, this shit is... Oh, my shit out there like that? That's dope, nigga. That shit is crazy. That's a quarter of a it's century. 20, it's 22. It's better to say quarter 20. of a century than 20 years, two decades. Quarter yeah. of a century. I'm just glad that I'm still in the circle of being spoke about nice MCs. You know what really gets me rocked off, really, when a motherfucker come up to me and be like, yo, you started me rapping or you're the reason why I do what I do. And that's enough for me. First time I heard Meth what, um, spit on um, Protect Your Neck, I knew he stood out with everybody else, but the whole team stood out. And off of that, man, I, I knew I didn't want to be a fan. I wanted to kind of be part of the fam right off the bat. Damn, can I get a soda up in this moment? Is meth man like I mean he got that personality it makes the whole circle operate he got his style I got my style we can never be compared to one another that's how the circle turns our circle turns without egos our circle turns without worrying about who's the best who's the hottest because when we together we, we unite as one and then we make the whole scene hot you know what I'm talking about hip-hop DX bitch can you remember that Back in the day, it was like, when you heard an MC, it's like you knew. And when we heard his voice and we heard that burst, Hardcore, I think the name of it was, right? It was like EPMD, dope, that's dope. But who is this nigga? And when Doc came out at the Fat Jam, he came out to, remember the Fat Jam paper, dude? No. Nigga came out to, came out to protect your neck. Protect but your neck right off the bat. Not even on that right there, Staten Allen fell in love with the nigga even more when his man knocked out the sound man in the middle of the set. He did a couple of songs, right? And uh, the music was off and somebody started clapping. He's like, nah, don't clap. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. But trust me, by the end of that motherfucker, the whole crowd was with the go. So when did you guys actually first meet each other? Chris Cross album release party. Big up to Chris Cross. R.I.P. Chris. Picture, I think we took two pictures, and that picture the whole year before we even dropped our next albums, Month of the Man tour, any of that shit. That shit was in hits. That shit was in fucking source. Mm -hmm. That shit was every fucking one. Crisscross was hot. Crisscross was firing. So we respect and love each and every fan. That's why when I go out there and I do a show, I make sure I give it my all, man. I leave everything out there. I'm going for most underrated ever. Trust me, I got a lot to say. It's coming. Hip Hop DX, bitch. Hip Hop DX. A reality show, man. Just, just put a camera in Brick City. Well, not you can't see everything and shit. The illegal act, but 
But yo, this nigga be lighting people feet on fire and shit. Yo, you a funny. He nigga. got mad at me. Friends don't light friends on fire while they rested. <laughs> Straight up. Yo, Marky, you was there, bro.